bread today. It seems that a lot of people are baking more, which is awesome. With the quarantine, it's like the number one fad, I would say. And honestly, I'm glad. People should be baking bread more, don't you guys think? Why did we stop doing that? I feel like people don't bake enough anymore. It's like one of those things where, I don't know, I guess you can buy everything. Maybe you don't need to, I guess. I personally feel like it's such a treat to eat warm, fresh, baked anything is like one of the best things in life. So I started baking bread a while ago and I would say it's one of the easiest, most fun things to do. I mean, I think people 100% think it's a little harder than it really is. Everybody should do it at least once. You have to try it. So to bake the bread, the easiest way to do it is to get yourself a Dutch oven and I'm not talking about you know what. It's essentially like a cast iron pot. You can make like all kinds of stuff in it. So it's totally worth having one anyway, but that's how I make the bread so crispy and crunchy. Some yeast, some flour, some water, a little bit of salt, and then you can always add like other ingredients. This one bread I make is like super easy. It's no need, so you just mix it all together. It takes me like five minutes, and then I leave it overnight, and in the morning I just heat up my oven and let it rise one more time while it's heating up, then bake it. People are super intimidated by it, but honestly, I feel that anybody could do it. Can I just say that doing my makeup while talking about bread feels like patting my head while going in circles on my belly because it's so hard to concentrate on both things and I'm like skipping steps in both but you know what there's first time for everything and I'm gonna start a new thing where I make videos where I talk about the different food I make while I do my makeup because this is get hungry while you get ready time you know what I'm saying and my family, they literally eat the bread in like 15 minutes. Put some delicious butter on it. I add in different ingredients almost every time I bake one because I just like to have fun with it depending what I'm in the mood for or what I have in my fridge or my garden. Like I'll just pop some stuff in there or see random seasonings. Like I made one with everything bagel seasoning awesomeness. So this is essentially what you do. You get warm water. You don't want it to be hot, so make sure you don't make it hot. I do about a cup and a half. I'll put down the exact recipe at the bottom, but it's about a cup and a half of warm water. This is what I know by heart. Then three cups or three and a half. I don't know. I'll put it in the recipe of flour. And in the warm cup of water, I do a package of yeast. I put a pinch of sugar in there. I let that sit in there for like five minutes just to make sure that the yeast isn't messed up because the yeast can go bad. So then I start seeing bubbles and that's how I know it's going well. And in a separate bowl, I put the flour and the salt at the bottom because the salt can make the yeast not work again. It can deactivate the yeast too. So yeast is really freaking touchy, man. Don't mess with the yeast. So you then add the yeast with the water into the flour. I use like a spatula or something and like mix it all together and it starts becoming kind of tacky and clumping together. And I do that at night. Once it's all mixed together, I just honestly leave it. I cover it with cellophane. I use a giant bowl because it's gonna rise and I go to sleep. When I wake up, I take some flour and dump it on a sheet of parchment paper. Meanwhile, keep in mind, my Dutch oven is in the oven at 450 degrees already warming up. Then I dump the entire mixture on the parchment paper that's floured. I use like a spatula and scrape it off from the inside of the bowl because it's like all tacky and weird. 
and I dump it on the parchment paper. And once I do that, I start shaping it. I, I pour more flour on top and I rub it around on the top of the bread and then I fold it in like this to make it smooth and don't do that too many times. You just wanna lightly tuck in the corners more or less. Don't overdo it. And then once it's a nice bread shape, I leave that, I cover it with same cellophane that I use and I cover the bread that's shaped. And then I cover it with a towel as well and I let that sit for about half an hour. After half an hour, score it so I just draw any kind of stuff I want into it. Then I dump it into the hot, Dutch oven. I put it in the oven for 30 minutes with the lid on and then after 30 minutes I put it in with the lid off for 15 and that's the easiest bread that I make. I feel like you can't mess it up. The only way it would actually mess up is if the yeast went bad, which in that case, you would know before you dump it in there because it bubbles in the water. So if it's not bubbling and moving around, then the yeast is bad. So you already know that, so you can't mess it up. And if you mess it up, then I don't know what to tell you. Just don't mess it up. I don't know, I decided it was better to talk about bread in this video than talking about what I'm doing with my makeup because I feel like people are so sick of hearing what product it is whatever. Honestly, if you guys have any questions, I'll answer them, so feel free to ask me anything of what I'm doing with my makeup, but let's be real. I feel like everything's been done almost, not legit, and don't get me wrong, like I'll still be creative, but there's a part of me that just wants to do my makeup and chat with you guys. I don't see why there's anything wrong with that. Why not? You know what I mean? We can have fun. And it's easy for me because I, I get ready every day anyway. This way I can get ready and tell you guys stories. I'll try to do more of this cooking stuff or baking or whatever, but like, I don't know if some of you know, but I have a food Instagram and so I just post my dinners on there. I make it really easy because I have a family of six. I cook and bake anyway. There, it's just like, it's something I do and I don't think I'd wanna have a channel that is anything but what I do anyway. I just wanna live my best life, guys. I just wanna live my best life and do what I love. And I love doing makeup. And I love doing hair. And I love cooking and baking. Why not incorporate all my favorite things into one and just do what I do? So the first thing you need to do is buy a Dutch oven, all right? There's expensive ones that are like 300 bucks and then there's ones that are like 50 bucks. You could go, you can go, you can't go anywhere probably, but if you can, maybe there's like a TJ Maxx or Marshall still open. I got mine for 50 bucks. Get one that has the inside that is coated. Don't get one that is like the cast iron inside because I think those can rust easier and they're just more work cleaning it. Also, like if you have to season it, it's just, why, why do all that when you can honestly just buy one that's coated and then it's easy breezy. I think you guys can do it. I would love to see pictures or videos of your breads, man. Start with this easy recipe that I put in the description. I honestly don't think anybody could mess it up. I use a razor for the scoring and that's really fun. You can just cut it up and it cracks however it's going to. You can't really know what's gonna happen so it's kind of like always a little mystery. I did once write mom on one, which was really hard actually. So I was nervous that it was gonna like say wow, but it ended up actually saying mom. 
The key is I did like a heart around it, so that spread, but the mom stayed. I don't know. It worked out all right. I don't know if I just got lucky. If you want to, you can check out my uh, food Instagram. It's Aga Tompkins Kitchen. You can see just pictures of meals I've made. It's nothing exciting, but if you see anything on there that you'd love me to tell you guys about how I made it or whatever in one of these food and makeup videos, recipes and makeup, get hungry while you do your makeup, then let me know. So anyway, back to business. It's not as hard as you think, and I promise you can do it. It'll be better than any bread you bought at the store unless you went to a bakery and bought it that day. But even then, we eat this bread like literally seconds after it comes out, not seconds, because you gotta kinda let it cool off before you can cut it. But we eat it like 10 minutes after it's baked. And then we could talk about like sourdough and stuff like that. I have lots of ideas. Don't copy my ideas, you YouTubers. But yeah, I like freehand most of my food stuff. I don't always follow recipes. Actually, I never follow recipes. I legit always change it at least a little bit. I don't know what it is. Trying this YouTube game, you know? I'm gonna go put on some lashes. All right, the lashes are on. Do some lips. Done. It's my Dutch oven. It's real, real used, as you can tell.